Hey everybody, I had uh, shown how to fix a uh, plastic trash can that was splitting with Gorilla Glue about uh, about a year ago. It got 300 and something views, but I have since deleted it because obviously the Gorilla Glue didn't work. And uh, uh, because uh, the, it breaks. It, it, this is flexible and that's not meant for flexible. So I, I've actually perfected this. Okay, there's something else that works great. I did it on this side. And that's the seam that's not broken. This is working great. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I, this has been going on. I've, I've had this uh, on here for about six months now. It's been banging up against the side of the dumpsters at the dump. And it has not broken. So I'm uh, going to take, take all the tape off, get rid of all the Gorilla Glue. And I'm going to show you just how to do this. I have a hole underneath there. And if you look inside, okay, see if I can get some light on that. You can see... You can see the, the hole down, down there, the light coming through it, you can kind of see. So you want to look for any of the light that might be broke, like there's one in there, there's a couple of them down in there. So take a look from the inside, you're not going to do anything inside the trash can. Everything's going to be on the outside, so make sure the surface is clean. We get rid of all the, uh, all the glue, all the tape, uh, everything. Uh, you do want to drill a hole at the end of any runs, okay? Uh, when we clean this up, you'll see a hole at the end of this. So take a drill and drill that. I've made a video about that on a bucket already. All right, and then uh, clean this up, and uh, I'll be back to show you how to put the other stuff on. All right, I have a new new one right here that I've uh, found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill at the end of it. All right, and what that does is it stops it from running any further. All right. And we'll so one at both ends, that's what you want to do. already have it on this one. Uh, spinning around, I'm looking in the creases here for any of them. You're probably saying, how come you just don't go buy another one? Go figure how much these guys cost. All right, and, uh, and, and okay, there's one hidden right there. Okay, it's hard to see, but it's right there. All right, so I'm going to hit the bottom of it. That's going to be kind of a difficult one to get because it's right in the crease. So, so uh, I have the two holes, clean them up real good, and then we go to the next step. Well, it's been about uh, nine months since the last video when I actually drilled these holes, and I wanted to take a break so I can actually test some things out. All right, this is the really stiff um, leaf blocker stuff, which is right here. All right, the, the really, uh, really stiff stuff. And what I did over on this other side, right, right here, is a really flexible stuff. So you can see movement there, but it's sealed up like fiberglass. All right, this, uh, this is the uh, thicker one. It's actually held, all right? I don't know how long it's kind of got a gap there and all that, so I wouldn't use the, the thicker stuff because it's hard to keep on. Like this guy right here, I'm just gonna rip it the rest of the way off, and, and, and it came off. So I'm gonna actually uh, put the other stuff on here. So uh, what you do, uh, this is about as clean as it can be. So I'm not worried about uh, getting these closed together. It'll close together with the, with the seal that's going to go on it. Uh, you want to look inside. Any, uh, any light that you see, you want to plug those up. And I think that's it. I don't know if there's any others that I did. I think uh, I might have to... That probably sealed up by itself. All right, that's small enough to where just the spray will work. So I'm going to put this uh, on there. What you're going to need is, uh, is a spray, okay? rust -Oleum makes a great leak seal flexible rubber coating and I would go with the thin stuff the weed blocker that's thin stuff and I have this roll right here alright that's left over from a project you always have scrap anyway that you're cutting off in a pair of scissors wear gloves because when you're working with this stuff it gets on your hand you're going to need some uh, mineral spirits or something to get it off your fingers alright first step cut out the piece or pieces that you need to cover the entire cut and place them in spot just to measure them up. You're going to remove them then. Just move them aside. Okay, spray the rustoleum on there and get good coverage to cover the entire area that is uh, is uh, going to be covered by the fabric. So it'll all be kind of glued down into place. Then you then you take your um, weed blocking fabric and put it into place and get all the air bubbles out. Make it all flat. I use a piece of wood to do that because I don't want to get my fingers too bad. See, that's up a little bit too much, so I make sure that's flat before I put the other coat on. All right, now spray on your top coat, okay, um, which now you have a coat underneath it that's going to seal, and a top coat that's going to seal, and then you let it sit for about 24 hours, okay? There's going to be some dripping on the bottom, but that's okay. 
And what you could do is come back and actually look at it again. I'm going to set this upside down so that it stops dripping and you can go back and forth. It's going to be tacky at, at first and then start drying up and then it seals up. So I'm still concerned about that little area right there that's popped up, but uh, I think I filled it in pretty good. All right, but it, I'll tell you what, it's so watertight and I made a video on this guy. There's water in there right now with the black underneath it and it has not leaked. There's no, no, uh, that's moisture from rain. Don't worry about this. It is not dripping from the bottom of this. I've actually used it up on the deck with, uh, with uh, water from a Bissell machine. That's dirty as heck. It did not wet the deck at all. So uh, very impressed with this stuff. Very impressed. And that, uh, that, that's on YouTube too. I'll put a link above it. All right. So uh, hey, uh, just uh, do it a little bit at a time all the way around. And you'll uh, save those trash cans. I mean, this guy's good, uh, what, 10 years old now? It's still moving along. All right. So uh, I'll bring you back when it's dry and see what it looks like. Well, there it is, guys. It's uh, well over 12 hours. It's uh, nice and dry. Uh, there's some uh, li lips up there, but you know what it's going to hold. You go in here, right where that crack is right there, it's pretty well sealed up and probably water watertight. See a thin spot down there where some light's coming through? There's a crack right there i got to fix. And that's on this side right here, so i got to work on that one too. All right, it's already got the hole drilled up on uh, that I did uh, last year. So I missed that, but you know, I couldn't do two sides at once, so no big deal. So what I'll do is I'll take care of that the same way I did that. So hopefully you liked the video. Uh, one good way to keep these things in operation and, and until it literally obliterates, it's good to go. So subscribe and see a whole lot more helpful videos. Bye now.